All right, so some people have been like trying to reach out to me and talk about the issues I've been talking about with me, which I can appreciate. Um, at the same time, I get very frustrated because there's a lot of resistance to speaking about these things. And I think a lot of people when like the way they were brought up or their culture is like criticized, it's like the reflexive response is to be very defensive. Um, and like I've said before, I don't think like every Daisy person is like, like close minded and like a bad person. Like that's not what I think at all. Um, I think there's a lot of really great things about the culture. At the same time, there are a lot of things that are like hurtful and detrimental. And I think people don't want to face that because they feel like if they criticize their culture, it means they're like turning their back on their culture or they like are throwing their own people under the bus. And that's not necessarily true. Like just because you love something doesn't mean you have to think that everything about it is perfect. In fact, recognizing that there are things that can change and be better and wanting to like take those steps to do that really means that you do love your culture that much because you see like the negative things in it that cause problems for people and you don't want it to be that way. And I feel like people create culture and every human being has prejudices. So as long as people believe colorist or racist things, it's going to be a part of the culture. And I think that's something that's very hard for some people to face. Um, so it's just easier to be dismissive of it and be very defensive. Um, there was one guy that messaged me a few days ago and he was like, oh, I just wanted to talk to you peacefully about this. And I'm like, okay, well, what did you want to say? And he was like, well, you know, they didn't like you because you don't speak the language. And I was thinking, well, I can learn the language. <laughs> and in fact, I was thinking maybe I should learn like Punjabi, not just so that I could speak to the guy in his own language, but also because it's something that would benefit me just as an individual to be able to know more and to be able to, to just um, communicate with people that speak the language. Like I've had some patients that speak like Hindi and um, that would be something that would help me. And it's something that I would do on my own anyway. So like the guy was saying like, uh, the parents have to be able to understand you. And like, if you don't speak their language, they won't understand you. And I feel like that's a lazy excuse, honestly. It's like, if you don't speak someone's language, you can always learn it. So that's just a lazy excuse in my opinion. Um, I've just been looking at other videos on YouTube as well about people talking about their own experiences within the South Asian culture. And there was one woman who was uh, a British woman who grew up in um, Britain, but she was Indian. And she was um, like people in her family were Sikh and also Hindu. So she was Hindu and she was Punjabi. And she talked about how like before she went to college, she didn't have a whole lot of like Asian friends. She mostly had a lot of black friends because that just happened to be the type of people that were, were around her. Um, so she felt very comfortable in that kind of a setting and knew a lot of different black people from different like African countries. And, you know, they accepted her and they didn't treat her like there was anything wrong with her. Um, and I, I see that happening a lot. Like the black culture and black people tend to accept others a lot more than others accept us. And I don't know why that is. I think it's because we get treated the worst. But anyway, this girl, she hadn't had very many Asian friends until she went to college. And when she went to college, like in her second year of college, that's when she started uh, becoming friends with more South Asian people. And I guess most of the people at her school who were Punjabi, they were, um, they were Sikh. And so they would like look down on other Punjabi people who were Hindu. And it's like, they would say things that were like really offensive, like in front of her and it would hurt her a lot. And she would even have times where like she would start talking to a guy that she was interested in. And then when he found out that she was Hindu and not Sikh, he would just stop talking to her. So it's just like, this is, these are like, I think these prejudices are so ridiculous. It's like, it's like people want to find any reason to like, dismiss others they want to find any reason to feel superior to somebody else and i just don't understand it it's very weird to me because it's like we're all just human beings and we're not all the same like people are different from each other and that's okay it's okay 
I don't understand like this need that some people have to feel like they're superior to others. Like why, why? I don't get it. And who cares? Who cares what your religion is? Who cares what language you speak? As long as you treat other people well, like that's the only thing that should matter. Like you shouldn't automatically judge somebody or dismiss somebody because of their religion or because they speak a different language. Like, I think that's stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. It's really stupid.